a portrait of Cristiano Ronaldo. Kevin Suzette, a 25-year-old illustrator based in Zurich, is drawing the striker for a Swiss sticker book called Chuti Hefte, along with other football stars from the Portuguese national team. There's also a portrait of the artist himself in the collection. I was always interested in drawing Ronaldo because he's so well known. It doesn't matter if you like him or not. That's why I wanted to draw the Portuguese team. In the collection, every team participating in the 2016 European Football Championship has been designed by a different artist. Suset had to submit a portrait of football star Zinedine Zidane to qualify to work on the project. More than 200 European artists had applied, just 24 were selected by a jury. This is what their self-portraits look like. Suset created his self-portrait with colored pencils. He needs around half a day per portrait. Nowadays, a lot is done digitally with computers. I prefer using pencils and the aesthetic they produce. Italian goalie Gianluigi Buffon has a more realistic look, while English attacker Wayne Rooney looks slightly abstract. Germany's Mesut Özil has sad eyes, while Czech goalkeeper Peter Cech sports his trademark protective headgear. Sweden's Zlatan Ibrahimovic looks as determined as he does on the pitch, and Polish goal-getter Robert Lewandowski projects a colorful image. All of the stars can be found in one album. Zervan Glanzmann is one of the people behind the project. Tuten or Tutti is what we call kicking or playing football in Swiss German. It's derived from the English word shoot. When soccer came to Switzerland from England, we incorporated the word Tuten. The team created its first sticker book back in 2008, mostly for friends and supporters in Lucerne. Back then, the limited runs of stickers came in packets that were put together by hand. We had 500 copies of each sticker, which had to be packaged by hand, as we soon realized. So we ordered packets and started to divvy up the stickers. We put 10 different ones in each packet. It took us a lot of nights. This Lucerne bookshop was one of the first to sell the sticker book. Store manager Silvio Kohler himself has been collecting football stickers for eight years now. And he knows the customer is keen on Chutli Bitli. Ten stickers cost a euro and a half. These arty stickers are something for people who aren't interested in the usual run-of-the-mill football stickers. Not all of them are football fans either. Often they're people who are bored by the hype or are looking for something unique. It's a unique project. Zivan Glanzmann runs an honorary association rather than a commercial publishing house. Even now, he organizes everything himself, choosing the artists and managing the distribution, although the stickers are now professionally printed and packaged. Some of the proceeds are donated to the charity Tades Hommes, and the artists benefit as well. Football has become all about making money. Even though football is so much more than that. We want to make a statement that passion matters just as much. His passion has infected the artists as well. It was great. I really enjoyed putting in all the stickers. It only took me a couple of days. And I was really proud to see the page full of my own creations. After starting eight years ago in Lucerne, the sticker bookmakers have gradually infiltrated the Austrian and German markets too. This time, Zilvan Glanzmann has ordered four million stickers and beer coasters. The European Football Championship can begin.